Welcome to this video where I will try and uh, give you a um, overview of ArcGIS Online. So ArcGIS Online is a uh, cloud-based mapping communication platform. Um, it can also do analysis. So it basically can do many of those things that we uh, know from our desktop GIS just in a cloud-based um, environment. It's um, really tightly knit with the other products from Esri, so ArcGIS Pro and City Engine. We'll be using City Engine later, so you will probably see this in tightly knitness. It's the same login on all of these Esri products and things that you save in one place will be available for in the other places, just like you are used to, for instance, in uh, Creative Cloud. So um, it's a it's a key element in Esri's um, GIS strategy, um, and it has many advantages also over the traditional desktop GIS. You don't need to install anything, of course, on your computer. You just take your web browser and go to um, your address. It um, this means, of course, it especially if, if you're just using GIS casually. It's um, it, it, it this is an advantage because it's um, it lives on the web. The ability to communicate data on over the web is built into it. It's born if you're based with the ability to create and disseminate data over the web. So this is also um, a good advantage of it. It has um, it's been designed for a multi-user environment. So there is a organization that you can create. And you have been placed in a different groups for, you, for the course or whatever. You can create your own groups to do collaboration between uh, people within the uh, RGS online community. They don't have to be part of our university. You can also share across uh, organizations. Um, and especially when doing data collection, it's geared to having many people can work on the same data set at the same time. So we can have massive crowdsourcing of data if you wish, which is really also a useful thing. And, um, and finally, um, which might or might not be an advantage, the way it's visualizing. So QGIS or ArcGIS Pro are typically uh, focused around communicating on paper, while ArcGIS Online, all the visualizations um, are clearly geared towards web-based communication. So it's not really good for setting up a printed map, can be done, but not really superb for this. But it has its advantages in um, in how to um, to use it in the web-based um, situation. So if um, we um, have a look at how this is implemented, so if you go to ArcGIS.com and um, hit this one, you'll get a sign-in where you um, then can choose uh, some login. Um, I have already logged in here as um, a course user. So um, here we um, have the landing page that you arrive on as soon as you have uh, logged in. There will be um, a little gallery of maps that have been produced within the university organization. This um, this is more or less a random selection of maps. The gallery, it's up here we have a lot of tabs. And we have, of course, our profile here. We can click on us and we can sign out or we can change our profile. If we go to training, my Esri, uh, other sites within the Esri organization. We can search for data. There will be a notification if there are any notifications. There will be a little indicator on the little bell saying that you have a notification. 
So if you look at the tabs, we have um, the home tab, which is this one. We have the gallery, which is of even more maps. So we can see a list of maps being produced. And the map, this is where we will produce our maps. I won't show you this yet, but we'll go come into this much more in another video. So this is where we produce our maps. So which layers do we have and which order? How do we visualize the layers? This is all done within this map tab. We have the scene tab. And um, in ISV terminology, a scene is a 3D map. So when we uh, work with 3D visualization, we can have our data up in scenes. We have groups, which is the way that we decide who we want to share information with. So this is in the group tabs. We have our content where we will be sharing or using most of our time on creating content. This is where we create layers as we would think of them in in uh, QGIS. So this is where we create our content. And finally, there's an organization tab of some information about the organization you are part of. In addition to the tabs, we have this indicator here, these nine small dots, like in uh, Google. This indicates that there are apps. And the apps that we'll be using, this is ArcGIS Online. We will be using the story map, which is a, let's say, a, a web-based PowerPoint with mapping ability. And we have a uh, map viewer beta, which is just like the map tab, but it's just the next generation. It's in the beta at the moment. So this, the, it can do some new things, but it also has some annoying quirks still. So these are um, those apps uh, that you will be using. They'll probably be located somewhere else on, um, on your tab. You can move them around. I just organized them up here because I'll be talking about these free. So this is um, the basic overview of, um, of uh, ArcGIS Online. And uh, in, as we go along, I will go into details with the different components.